ci radio ma ngi gis ni ñangi dogga dogga video ah man lima gisone moy ñu ko wax ne ko mu get of the stage get this woman out of my stage understand man lu la gis ma gis ñi pa ko tassare ñi pa ngi am mixed feelings ñi di wax ne um ki ci da was wrong ñi di wax ne the guy was wrong the guy have a problem with him that a little bit problem bi moy rek in terms of entertainment rek mom warna mo xamne if even tida so mu nek ton part of the show or mu nek a part of the show she could have been a fan and that's not a way to to address someone so man fofu la ama mom problem but i'll come to that legi yow mi nga xamne yow ya in this guy gambia um ñu ñep gis ki e ma gis ñeneñ sa xal nañ la blash anyways amna ñu non blash ni organize si la bla 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 so when you tuti was see the part of the show or not okay ba amna sax xigne ñu bari ño xam du mo ne xaj nga sax i can say that there's thousands of people that knew about this before i did even though mama organized the show while everybody's enjoying man i'm out there working you know making sure everything is fine everything everyone is okay you know and my money is secure too you know so um yeah, money break i don't know i wouldn't know wow. anyways let's talk that to me yeah can you hear me wama ma nga dega little bit wa fana ni ñu nga dega yene ngay dega hadi <laughs> yeah, so so as I was saying, the money, um, you know, a lot of people got to find out about this before one may you and that's only because man anyone everyone knows me, man, I don't enjoy my events and stuff like that. I'll be working the whole night, you know, mm. making sure everybody's happy, um, taking care of people and I'm also trying to secure my bag because that's the whole reason why I'm doing what I am doing too. Yeah, so man man I did not find I did not know about this fake omoko until after the show while I was resting backstage. Selen ñew ñu wax mako and I remember we had a, it was me fantasy say and some of my friends and stars ñu ko talk and you know my yo tell if help laila li ak li ak li man how did that even happen? You explain alba. So man si li ma jota janga li ma wax moy ne ni ne and and I think anyone that's a follower of Ruga or a fan of Ruga dinga xamne ni while he performs he calls out girls to come on stage for new yeah, feature I've seen and stuff like that so there was this song i don't even know what song it is we've done perform he decided to pick girls from the crowd for new 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 ex stage to dance with him um so during that time bin done the floor is when they when tila um, tila was spotted in the crowd and you decide to in the on the stage so she was called out to come on the stage but what people don't understand so So Tida Jeke Jeke ñu wal bopam ci stage bi she was invited on the stage. Tida was actually called up on the stage. Okay. But that that's her being called like every other person that was called out. There were already one or two girls on the stage that were brought up before her. So obviously they don't know who any of these girls are. You understand? This is not me trying to defend Ruga. I would never do that. I'll choose Tida a thousand times before anybody else because she's my little sister and she anyone that knows or is a keen follower of Tina Tida will see that ne for the past couple of days she's actually been promoting my show yes. she's a part of when i do my stuff there certain things that i give her to handle and she contacts all the rest of the tiktokers for new 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 handle ko basically so she's my sister and we kind of work and she gets paid too this is not these are not stuff that i done for free she gets paid so what is it is that ne when ko pick her out from the crowd she came on stage Who? for what Who she come up pick from the crowd They, they they have they, they i don't know they have their way of doing it you know you would announce Team i want to go well according to her mune fan sa mi ñoko don nek di ko wax ne ko don push na ko ne mu dab mu dab mu dab mu dab you know what i mean so this is when she actually went on stage but what she did that kind of like um changed the whole thing was when she tried to take the mic from the artist and which is normally unacceptable these are things that you don't do you understand and it was during a performance it wasn't like me um there was something else going on this was during a performance where the guy had his mic he just was grouping girls to dance with and continue his performances so leo moy biti dan ñewé on stage he tried she tried to take the mic from him and then mustafa ko and ko what are you doing what do you want muna ko ne i wanted to say hi to my fans muna ko ne this is not your show get off my stage you understand i mean like it could have gotten worse man i know ne there are some musicians that have worked with or some that i know that have not worked with but know the kind of stuff that they do on stage ne they could it could have gotten worse but you understand it did not santayala he asked asked her off the stage 
which I think she should have listened to that and gone off the stage. But then again, you know, Tita is playful and she didn't take it like seriously. You understand what I mean? And this is the part that people actually saw before the second, the first part of the video actually came out. This was the part that she tried to do the Kung Fu move and stuff like that. And then the guy was like, what are you doing? We didn't be this, I think. We didn't be this lower. And then go down my stage, go down my stage. Yes. It was actually not nice to see at all because Mandamane, just like you said earlier, even regardless of Tida, um, Ruga know, not knowing um, Tida, it's not something that's supposed to happen because it could be a fan. And, you know, the things that you know as, as an artist, somebody else would not know. Yeah. You know. These are rules that you don't accept and stuff like that. And we are all bound to make mistakes. You understand? Some, some people get too excited. And when they're too excited, they just do whatever. They don't even notice. Tida now realizes what she has done, yeah. and she's remorseful. You know what I mean? Why? Li am problem with my Gambian beautiful book of Satan and Gambian beautiful book of Cho Banga Hamantani is too much. And there are few things. When Cho so I mean, if I'm your Hamini, naturally, Li reckon they in a world. You know what I mean? People that don't like me, they are very happy right now because this is what they want to see. And they will drag me and drag this for as long as they want just to see me down. I'm sorry, I've got nothing to do with this. As long as I'm concerned, Tida was not on duties. Tida was there as a guest. She had a VIP pass. She sat at the VIP where everybody else sat. Now, I don't understand how some of these people that are saying me, I should have introduced her to Ruga. I don't understand what, what kind of idea they have. Should I be going to introduce Ruga to every person that's on my VIP? No, because they are there to enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? And rightfully, it was his stage. It was his moment. Yes, he was actually rude. He shouldn't have addressed her like that. I believe me, there was a nicer way of doing it than just, you know, repeatedly telling her, get off my stage, get off my stage. It wasn't nice. But even man me daily gave with these celebrities, that they are boundaries. Because man, my biggest fear is rejection, being told what to do and what not to do. It kills me. So when it comes to my work, Lima Warsi or a glider. I will not run around, kiss your ass. This is not your stage tonight. Go down. Go down. Go down, please. 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 Zero, please. Be here. Thank you.